Dr. Austin Brown. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Sorry about that tape delay there for a minute. That's all right. I'm just working on my freeze. Bro. My freeze <laughs> yeah. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> so how, uh, how's things going? It's, uh, you know, January is kind of like a regroup for everyone. Right. Um, you know, paperwork, bills, insurance. Yep. Insurance <laughs> is a big one, right? Insurance is a big one, especially in the pharmacy world. Yeah, we got all our... Uh, end of the year stuff done, all the inventory management and all that, but now, yeah, come January 1st, new insurances, new drug formularies, new policies, and uh, helping customers and patients just navigate that, because yeah. it's insurance and it's clear as mud, right? So, <laughs> yeah. um, it's always, I mean, yeah. there's always something, and yeah, uh, yeah so we just, uh, you know, at the pharmacy, um, I mean, we deal with insurances, you know, on the prescription level and other ways, you know, all day, every day, so, mm -hmm. Um, you know, the pharmacy is actually another place when it comes to having insurance questions. It's not right. a bad place to stop in and ask, at least to get, you know, the baseline of understanding yeah. what's going on. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you guys, you know, you know this, this is your community. These, mm -hmm. these are your people. You go above and beyond. They're not, not just a customer at Browns. No, absolutely not. You know, we try really hard to, uh, you know, if people do have questions, we try to make sure they understand their insurances, um, looking at their prescriptions and understanding is this drug going to be on the formulary mm -hmm. this year, next year. Um, you know, we don't do a lot, a lot with helping people choose a plan, but we do offer that service at sure. the pharmacy as well, especially if they want to continue using our pharmacy. Right. Um, insurance companies are, unfortunately, do not play very nice in the sandbox when it comes to independently owned businesses. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the insurance companies uh, also own their own mail order stores yeah. and they have um, different relationships with the pharmacy benefit managers mm -hmm. to help manage those drug plans for them. So um, they have their own agendas to yeah. put it. I think I've seen simply. those guys in the suites <laughs> over at the uh, Pistons game. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, they're not sitting, they're not sitting in the nosebleeds. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about that a okay, little bit. Sure. Um, if my insurance company says, oh, well, you know, we, we, we need you to move to a different pharmacy. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm at Brown's. I have a choice, don't I? Uh, you do, you do. And um, a lot of the things that I tell people when they come into the store and they ask about you know, insurances, I mean, you get just a Bible worth of information mm -hmm. in the mail, um, especially the new year, talking about the changes in the formularies, but they'll also send you know, some nasty grams, mm -hmm. um, to put it you know, politely. Um, about, I've seen language, you know, you are losing money or you're gonna be unavailable to get services if you right. continue to use this pharmacy, it's out of network. You need to go to a list of these preferred sure. pharmacies. Mm -hmm. So we've had, I've had people come in in tears mm -hmm. thinking that they are no longer allowed to use my pharmacy. The answer is you can. So being non-preferred um, in these different contracts at our pharmacy actually um, is a business decision that helps actually save money on the back end because yeah. those plans charge you more to actually be a preferred pharmacy mm -hmm. and it just doesn't come out in the, in the math. But um, if anybody tells you from an insurance company standpoint or um, in those mailers that you cannot use our pharmacy, come in and talk to us and we can look at um, filling your prescriptions there. There might be some changes, but that doesn't mean you won't be able to get prescriptions mm -hmm. from us. You know, they seem almost dishonest in the way they, they market their plans. I saw uh, an ad for Humana last night and all the things that they are claiming that you may be able to get for free uh eyeglasses hearing aids uh gym memberships right. food <laughs> yep uh, dinners I, I mean you could it's unbelievable but it's just it's it's beyond the realm of believability it is and they do they do work really hard to accommodate humana is actually a company in terms of um transparency with pharmacies and how they reimburse and how they um, carry about some other business. They're one of the more transparent companies that's out there right now in terms of how we know what we're dealing with. Um, and a lot of those types of things, the devil's in the details. So they might say no copays or free eyeglasses or, or whatever it might be. So for this example, we'll say we'll continue with the prescription drugs, you know, oh yeah, that you should have no problem getting that medication for no cost at the pharmacy. Um, then we try to run a claim through the pharmacy to find out it's mm -hmm. rejected. Well, what they don't put in bold letters is that pre prescription is free if it's that one certain drug product mm -hmm. that's on the formula that they'll allow. Um, a common example, I see this a lot with like over-the-counter aspirin, just the 81 milligrams that you take you know, for mm -hmm. um, heart conditions or helping with some blood thinning. And oh yeah, that's covered no problem. Yeah, but it's the one 
ND, we call it an NDC, that's the code we use to identify drug products. Mm -hmm. It's the one NDC out of how many hundreds of different aspirins there are that is the one that's covered by them. So you have to be a little bit careful in asking, well, is it many products? Is it one? And um, the pharmacy can help ask those questions. That's amazing. And, yeah, so they'll, they'll be very picky. So yeah, it's free, but if you got to find the one thing. Yeah, I don't know how many people get into that uh, language on that piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Not many. Yeah, it's <laughs> size two font. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, the uh, pharmacy um, change thing happened to my mom a couple of years ago where uh, she had been going to a pharmacy very close to where she lived, and they said, no more. Um, you've got to go find someplace else. And it really was, it was very stressful and, and inconvenient um, for her, and it's not just her. It was, you know, who knows how many people, but um, all of her friends, same thing. Yeah. She was, kicked out of the and that's a of, big deal we I do mean, it's a really it, big deal yeah it is we see it every year um and it's not somebody you know you look at that so much as you know pharmacy and the market itself um you know we're doing a product to product you know the the pills in that bottle are a drug product so a lot of the marketplace treats it as such but when there's human lives attached to those products and you know pharmacists will know, know this better than anybody you know that those products change lives save mm -hmm. lives hurt lives um, there's more to it than that. So when yeah. you've established a relationship with your pharmacy and your pharmacist, and they know your story, they know all your medications, you're not just a prescription mm -hmm. number in there, um, that significantly affects um, the outcomes in terms of your overall care. Right. So when all of a sudden you get swept away into another pharmacy and now you have to be you have, somebody has to relearn your story right. after years of building a relationship. That's very challenging for people, and it makes it hard to take care of them. So, We're talking with Dr. Austin Brown from Brown's Advanced Care. More with Austin after these words. Hi, I'm Nate Vermeulen. Welcome to Vermeulen Furniture. Let's kick off 2023 with our happy home sale. You'll be pleased with 40% off regular prices store-wide. Delighted with an extra 10% off sale prices and ecstatic with 24 months to pay. Smile while you save on this sofa chase for just $7.99 or this reclining sofa with drop-down center back for only $9.99. Bermuda Furniture for your way of living. Jackson. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. Now is Extreme's Ram Make the Switch event. Did you know you can custom order a new Ram for less than buying one, and you'll have it in 10 to 12 weeks? Also, have you seen the new Jeep lineup? Lease prices are great this month. Finally, the Extreme buying team would like to purchase your vehicle. Extreme pays top market value. It's easy, safe, and you get paid on the spot. Visit Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Oh, yeah. If you're looking for a high-quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER-trained providers believe high-quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. The Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill has something for everyone. They offer a large menu with a variety of meals to choose from, including many Middle Eastern options, along with the everyday favorites. Enjoy live music and dancing, pool table, huge bar and large banquet hall, perfect for your next gathering, wedding reception, graduation party, and more. And don't miss Sunday brunch, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Experience a great night out at the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. The Jackson YMCA is offering $0 join fees right now. A lot of people joining the Y trying to uh, get back into shape, lose some of that holiday uh, overeating, or just want to join some classes. 
It's a great, uh, great way to spend time with the family as well. And they also have uh, youth camps and youth sports coming up. Give the YMCA a call, 782-0537 or jacksonymca.org online. Dr. Austin Brown is with us from Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy and Advanced Care Provider Network. And we're talking about um, plans changing with uh, drug uh, companies. And one thing we haven't touched on yet is the uh, the Medicare, the, all the different plans, Part B, Part D, Part C. Right. It's a very, it can be very, very It's already confusing. confusing. It's yeah, confusing. I'm already confused. Yeah. yeah, we're just getting, we're just scratching the surface. Yeah, what letter do I pick? <laughs> yeah. No, they, um, so we, every year we go through um, Part, Medicare Part D, okay. as in drug changes. And a lot of that comes down to um, the open enrollment season, which usually starts in October, ends in December, and they make changes to the drug formularies for Medicare uh, participants and people who are eligible. Um, for 2023, we're looking to see there's about 24 standalone Part D plans. That's what PDP stands for. Medicare Advantage plans are becoming increasingly popular, and that's looking at um, bundling your prescription drug coverages along with your your medical coverages as well um, so a lot of different carriers are offering a medicare advantage option standalone part d plans are um, becoming fewer and fewer um, and there's pros and cons to both mm -hmm. of them um, but you know when you're picking plans you just have to make sure that you're reading into what you're getting for um, this uh, graphic here is looking at uh, we've got a total of 801 part d plans that are standalone um, that's a 5% increase from last year, but less and less companies are offering standalone plans. 801 plans. Yep, uh, for everybody that needs to be taken care of. Yeah. So, you know, you look about trying to manage the formularies and the, the individual needs for people. Um, you know, medicine is something that we try to tailor to the individual, but it gets challenging. Um, no surprises here, uh, prices are not going down. Um, so we're looking at average monthly premiums. They can go from six bucks a month to $111 a month. Now the, the caveat with this here is some of these plans are what we call enhanced. So if you're paying a higher premium, you might not see monthly deductibles. Mm -hmm. You might see lower copays. So you're kind of front loading a lot of that money up front. Um, and picking a plan based on the premium and the, and the deductible really comes down to how often you're using your plan, what right. prescriptions are you needing. How many prescriptions yeah, you have. Yeah, exactly. So the different things. Um, changes here, um, people that are in Part D plans can expect to play, pay higher costs for uh, brands and non-preferred drugs than um, the generic drugs. So we see this every year, changes in brand names versus generics. Then there's preferred generic, preferred brand, and how the different plans put these on their drug formulary, which is the formulary is just the fancy word for the list of medicines that are available to you based on the plan that you pick. Um, but this shows here um, what people could expect to be paying for different types of prescriptions throughout the year in terms of the cost. How so, close are the name brands to the generics? Is it like, is it like cereal? Is it that close? Um, so yeah, by law, so it has to be. So yeah. a generic product has to have the same chemical ingredient as the brand product. The fillers and how they're made can sure. be different, but the drug has to Drugs be the, the same. same. Yep. Interesting. Um, and then this was the big one um, because of the Inflation Reduction Act for this year. Um, we're looking at insulin prices being capped at $35. Again, this last bullet point caveat here, understand what insulin products are covered on your formulary if you use this medication. They're not covering all of them, but they will cover the ones on the formulary. So if the plan you pick um, has a different insulin product than you have historically been using, you may have to switch in order to take advantage of that. So those are things when you're looking at that, always important to, to read the fine print and ask those questions about your medications have a full comprehensive list of your medications not just your prescriptions but your over-the-counters as well when you're looking at selecting plans because um, it does make a difference mm -hmm. and as we mentioned a little bit earlier sometimes even down to the drug product itself makes a difference yeah. and whether or not you'll see a zero dollar copay or something's not covered so like I said, clear as mud. Uh -huh. um, they change it every year. They love to pull the rug out from underneath yeah. people. But if you have questions, please come to the pharmacy because yeah. we want to help you solve 
these problems and navigate this so that you can get the best care for yourself. You know how everyone kind of puts their problems on Facebook sometimes? Oh yeah. I uh, <laughs> saw someone and they were complaining because their copay was more than it has been. Oh. Is that common? At the beginning of, year? of the year it absolutely is, yes. So you see stuff at the end of the year, you know, people have met deductibles, people have met, you know, their premium mm -hmm. uh, requirements. So we're seeing a lot of zero dollar copays um, at the end of the year at the pharmacy, you know, I, it, people are familiar with this. They'll call and just, just fill it all. Yeah. Can fill it, fill it. I yeah. need it. Let's get it out of here. <laughs> We're happy to do that because come January, right. there's going to be a tag, a price tag on that. Um, and a lot of the reason that shifts is what we'll see, especially if there's deductibles on a particular plan that you've selected. Um, the co insurance companies will tax some of the deductible into that copay amount. So if you had a drug that you're used to paying $10 for a 30 day supply and all of a sudden now you're paying $45 for that same amount mm -hmm. um, in January, that's probably because it, they're applying some of that extra cost towards your deductible payments. And then once you've hit that deductible, mm -hmm. then those copays will go down. Depending on how often you're filling your prescriptions, how many prescriptions you have, um, it can vary on to when people will hit that deductible. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we'll see that come the middle of the year, June, yeah. July, August, um, but it varies from person to person and on how often you're mm -hmm. coming in the pharmacy. So Interesting. Yeah. We've seen um, over the years uh, public outcries about the cost of some drugs, insulin for one, the yeah. EpiPen for, mm -hmm. for another. Uh, are there surprises people that might be diagnosed with something that suddenly they're getting a prescription they never saw had before that's going to bankrupt them? Yeah, yeah that's always some, That's always a concern and it's an unfortunate part of the American healthcare system is mm -hmm. you know, the, the exorbitant cost that's associated right. with it. Um, and that's, you know, that's, a, that's a discussion for a later yeah. time. But um, the answer is yes. So a simple example would be diabetes. Um, if you are diagnosed with diabetes, um, a lot, there are a lot of prescription medications that are still brand name medications that are very effective, but because they are brand name, they do have that higher price tag. Mm -hmm. So diabetes is a, is a um, disease where we do see exorbitant costs associated with the treatment of it. Um, now there are a lot of generic drugs that are available that work very, very well to get, to get mm -hmm. started with that treatment. Um, but as guidelines change and we start seeing how some of these other drugs are working, we're finding that the newer drugs are getting really, really good outcomes. Mm -hmm. So from a purely scientific, you know, medical pharmacological based aspect, you want to use the best drug mm -hmm. to help eliminate those, yeah. those other outcomes or improve outcomes. But from your pocketbook standpoint, you generally have to, a lot of people have to start with a generic product mm -hmm. and then work towards that or try to manage it with the, the lower cost medications. Yeah. So it's something that we have to help patients navigate a lot. So I don't know if you can answer this or endorse this, but I'm curious just over your career, what has been maybe the most uh, state of the art medicine or just something that you've really uh, relied on or patients have really started to take? Does that um, make sense? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's a really good question. Um, there's So there's a, a slew of different great drugs, you know, a simple, you know, going back to diabetes, a, a drug that works really well and has worked stood the test of time that's not very expensive is, uh, is metformin. And that's a drug that helps um, reduce the amount of uh, glucose that gets absorbed into the body when you eat something. Um, but in terms of therapies, you know, diabetes sees a lot of, of mm -hmm. uh, innovative products come that way because of, you know, the of toll it takes on the American healthcare yeah. si system. So a lot of innovation there. Um, the HIV population is another area where we see a lot of drug science and a lot of mm. antivirals coming together for products that instead of having to take a handful of pills, now patients with HIV can take one pill and have their needs met. And really now, um, if it's well treated, HIV is something where you, it, we can treat it like a chronic disease versus mm. something that's going to eventually lead you to, to hospice. So a lot of innovation there. Amazing. Thank you so much for all the uh, education and information today. I appreciate it. And always a pleasure, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. Austin Brown from Brown's Advanced Care. More of the morning show.